Hello everyone, welcome to Sunburn now, Bino's Platinum Relic Tutorials. Uh, we're here in Boulders, the level Boulders from Crash 1, this is the fourth level. And uh, I love how Coco's eyes just pop as soon as the boulder starts coming. This is a pretty basic level. There's not a lot of tips to give you. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the first uh, thing, so I'm just gonna like be quiet while it does it, and then we'll come back later with the second viewing with like f all the, you know, tips and whatnot as we do. So yeah, see you soon. All right, 4661, under platinum by a few seconds, or at least a couple. But uh, let's start back from the beginning and do this. So again, I use uh, my patented jump through the clock strat. Let's see it one more time. And it just saves you just the slightest bit of time there because you land a little closer than what you are. So yeah, you spin through the first two boxes, then we're just going and getting chased uh, by a boulder, which is very garden variety. Now, if you want to... Uh, you know, gain as much time as possible, or, you know, save, more specifically. Uh, the more you run straight without turning side to side, the faster your time is going to be. By the smallest of milliseconds, but even but moving diagonally even just for a little bit, it's going to shave a little bit off your time, or it's going to add a little more off the time. So yeah, if you want to then... Make sure that you get this box. You're gonna jump pretty specifically to get this box. You can't spin until you're like right at the top of your jump. Except I didn't there, but like it's fun. You know, you want to like be right up next to the box to hit it, and then uh, make sure your momentum keeps carrying you through to the other one too without stopping. But yes, any time you can just run straight without going side to side, that's going to help you. Which means you are gonna save time if you move to the left of these poles as much as possible instead of the right. Left is in our left, like, you know, like if you press the left directional button, that's where you go. But then we're gonna come right here, so short hopping whenever possible is all right too. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but the time it does make the most difference is you, where you're really gonna save the necessary amount of time here to beat your friend's scores, is you need to short hop off the very last pillar and then do another short hop right onto the thing. That is the fastest way to go. If you're full hopping from the last pillar onto the onto the, because you can't. I've tried. You can't jump from the plat the pillar right onto the platform. Or if you can, it's a very specific jump that's really not worth trying to do. But I've never been able to do it. But yeah, you got a short hop and then short hop again. It's faster than doing a full hop and then a short hop because you know logic and gravity and things of that nature. But yeah, forty six sixty one is a platinum time, 0.1 seconds better than my last one, which was still platinum, and 47.08 was also still platinum. So, yeah, you do stuff like that. This is a pretty easy level to do. So the only really thing that can mess you up is is that three box on the top of the that stack of boxes, because sometimes it'll spin the second one instead of the third one. So you want to be specific about that. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. That's boulders. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe and whatnot, and uh, future levels to come, and I'll see you guys next time.